As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. I get that. I found that funny. Hello guys, I'm Sissy Who. Welcome to my channel. This is my very first video ever on YouTube. Um, I've been watching Let's Plays on YouTube for the past pff, at least six years and it's been a while now. I'm like, maybe I should try doing this because I love playing video games. I like the joy you can get out of watching someone playing and seeing their reaction. And it's always been really, a really nice source of comfort for me. And in these difficult times we're all having, um, I would like to contribute to that. I would like to create something that can also bring you comfort and maybe a little bit of joy. And I really hope you can find this on this channel. So I'm not going to expand too much because I will be making a introduction video to my channel a bit later. But today we are going to play the medium. I'm not good at handling horror games at all. I'm usually not watching horror movies either, especially on my own. But that one seemed really cool. It seems to be a um, more of ambience, environment horror, psychological, so better than jump scares. So I should be fine with this. Uh, I'm really sorry about my camera going in and out of focus. I'm using my phone. Uh, hopefully it won't do that anymore. <laughs> so yeah, let's do it guys. See you there. Okay, here we go. Whew. Okay, photosensitive epilepsy warning and trigger warning as well. Uh, use headphone and a gamepad. I have a gamepad. Start. Um, let's have a look at the settings. Okay, now I'm using the gamepad. Hi, okay. Camera shake. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it is. Uh, hold breath mode. All right. Uh, English on. Default, yes. Text background. Okay, no. Speaker name, I think I'm good. Oh, no, I think we should be fine. We have the name of the speakers. Full screen high. Let's do 60. And the audio. We'll see the audio. Hopefully it's fine. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Whew. It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. 
And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Huh? Well, that wasn't the only part. <laughs> No wonder people used to think I was strange. <laughs> if they only knew. <laughs> that day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. Dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Okay. So much just happened. Um, wow. First of all, the music is amazing. I love it. Um, I was not expecting uh, the girl. I need to remember the, the, the face of the girl. And also, was she looking at us when she gave us... They had, she had two cups, right? And one of them was for us, maybe. Huh. Okay. No, I'm missing that. Look at this. Wow. Oh. She has a little bit of um, Claire Redfield vibe, right? Yeah. Okay. 1999. All right. Can you read? Oh, yeah, read. It's easier. Okay, memorial, funeral, ultrasound, biopsy, send package to Marianne. We are Marianne, right? Neurologist visit, funeral, ultrasound, neurosurgeon visit. Pick up Marianne from train station, November. Fifth surgery, okay. So surgery on the fifth. Um, do we know which day? What day are we right now? I don't know, right? The sound, I mean, every step is so well done. Thanks. Let's do this. <gasps> Shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you too. Mm hmm. Indeed. <laughs> Looks nourishing. Is that beans? Look like black beans. Ooh. Nope. Not beans. Okay. Well, it's baby bike. Here you go. Have this yummy, yummy. <laughs> there you go. Yummy What's food. Face? Glad to see you're still kicking oh. around. It's a nice kitty. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's the 5th of November. 
So it should be the day of the surgery, right? Well, could be an old newspaper. Uh, let's see. Okay, symbolic funeral at the Sursa, Sursa mine. Uh, miners from the Sursa mine came to work today, as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxes, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mine, says members of the Sursa mine rescue committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. This casket is meant for the Vistula Coal Company, they add. The miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. They refused to accept that the social mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continue to protest outside of the company headquarters in Tichi. I'm sorry for the name, sorry. Building a symbolic wall at the entrance. Each day they add another layers of brick. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. Hmm. It's an interesting way of doing something. NATO new mission, projecting stability in the post-Cold War war world. Earlier today, US President Bill Clinton, eh, 1999, delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. The President commended the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe, while also outlining the challenges that lie ahead. The US leader also emphasized the fact that his country leadership and involvement have been critical to Europe's peaceful transformation. President Clinton's vision of an undivided, democratic and peaceful Europe has now been furthered by another key achievement, the induction of Poland, Hungary and the Czech Republic into the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By doing so, the NATO leaders are hoping to strengthen these new democracies, ensuring their further contribution to the security and stability of Europe. So we are in our world, right? This is not an alternate universe. I can't believe it's all still here. Okay, she called her that Jack and not that. Um, maybe need photo for five seconds. Multi great for three, stop three, four, and okay, fix it for three. Okay, so five, three, three, three. Um, huh. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Sure. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Took of you, Jack. Shit. Mm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I keep looking at my controller because I've been playing a lot with the um, switch, and they just mess up the order of the letters. So I'm, I'm really confused with this now, and I feel that that is not going to help me in the long run. <laughs> so yeah, mm. let's see. Uh, let's go here. Huh. Interesting. 1984. Interesting indeed. Can I look at myself? No. Okay. Yeah, she does look like Claire Redfield, right? A little bit of JC Faden as well. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Are oh, you here? Jack's room. It's like he never. Damn it. Can't pet the cat? Come on, let me pet the cat. Mine's Jack 10 was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Okay. Alright. 
I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Hmm. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? <laughs> we are. We are going to feed the kitty. Come on. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Oh. All right. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. I can do this all the time. Okay, great. There was another... Yeah, let's see. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Wow, this is a lot of butterflies. Yeah, I used to have a thing for them. Ava. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Yeah, I don't really understand that. I, you know, taste is and all, um, but I don't see, I mean, they're beautiful. But they're living things, right? Well, I assume those are drawings, so... And they are as beautiful as the living things, correct? So, okay. So she has the thing for butterflies, and... Butterflies, if I'm correct, in Asian culture... Are of a meaning, right? They're like, usually used for... Um, symbol like the departing of a soul, for instance. And it seems that she's... I mean, the name of the game is medium, right? So... Maybe this is the link there. Interesting. Another picture. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. Okay. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. So she was adopted by Jack. Despite being weird, as she said. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them, to ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Matthew. I assume that Matthew. Okay, Matthew. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Okay, let's see. Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place like Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of us students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. I see where this is going. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student. But we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Okay. So she was doing this on purpose. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, Pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. I get that. I found that funny. Okay. Uh, I see admissions card. Marianne, no last name. Okay. Three years old, female. Initial diagnosis, second degree thermal burn, discovering 35%. Wow. Of total injury, but body surface area, trunk and upper limbs area. Suspected inhalation injury, so she was in a fire, three years old. 
Care management and stabilization, early wound coverage, respiratory support initiated, free resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, patient placed on high for oxygen, carbon monoxide poisoning is ruled out. Okay, so she probably had a near death uh, experience at three years old. Why? That is really early. And maybe she lost her parents at this point. It's weird there is no last name though. Okay, that's in mind. That's it? Okay. So we'll go downstairs to see Jack. This environment are really beautiful. I really like the colors, the cold tone. Uh, it does, does re looks really real. I mean, it, it does look like that at home when it's raining outside, right? Looks really good. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Okay, this bugs me, right? You can't close the door. Why are video games like this? I mean, you're going out of your place, you close the door, right? Um. Secrets? I like secrets. I'm bad at finding them. I will try them. This is actually quite pretty. Okay. No. No. Okay. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Is that our bike? That looks cool. I like this. The last goodbye in our home. Okay, so let's check in our home. That's trash. Maybe you, the, the tour of this place, guys. Here is the trash, here is the bike. There was someone that walked past. I saw that. Can I go there? Ooh, nice. Yeah, who doesn't? Need to get out. All right. I can't do that, okay. Can I run? I'll try. Okay. This is the last goodbye, okay. I don't know why, but... Yes. Jack's in the prep room. should be in the office. Why? Why would the key be in the office if you don't remember locking it? It's starting. Oh, wow. Look at this. Tree, right? Tree, symbol of life and death and all of that in a um, in lot of um, culture, right? Especially in the um, Celtic, Nordic um, mythologies, with, um, and, and it's, it's known better and better now with all this recent video game that went out, this um, Three of Life, Ectrasil. Seems we have like a recurring theme, right? With the afterlife and rebirth, I mean it's not, it's a funeral home, so 
if you want to instill a little bit of hope um, in the people that come here, that would make sense. Oh. Okay, that's Jack and her. Wait. Adam Novak. Male, date of birth, Krakow, Hannah, Stanislaw, university student. Okay, car accident. Ugh. 23 years old. Embalming, dressing, body, flowers. <clears throat> Mrs. Novak broke funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne. Okay, so she came to help, as she said. So she was here for a few days. She, we, here is it, we. Here it is. Is that going to ring? No. Okay, let's go. So far, just the cat. I wasn't scared, <laughs> just that cat. We're not going to prefer him, right? Oh no, she said he was ready. Okay, she just needs the right um, tie clip. <sighs> not sure if I'm ready for this. Mm. I feel you. I mean, anyone who had to go to a funeral room, right, to um, to see a loved one passing, this is so tough. This is so hard, and um, I get her. Hey, yeah. Jack. This is really hard. This is, yeah, this is hard, guys. Okay. Um, I got your special clip. Yeah. Now, where's your tie? Where is your tie? Oh, right here. It's a nice tie. Combine. Yeah. Ah, sorry. There we go. Snazzy. <laughs> you wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. you're ready but am I people read the signs that's closed <laughs> okay first of all the acting is so good I mean I don't know who's voicing her, but you can really feel the emotion there. And I got I got a bit emotional there because I I know what she's going through, right? Uh, and a lot of you guys know as well. So it's really well done. And what is happening? Oh, I don't know this. Can I can I grab can I grab 
scaffold? Take it. <gasps> What's that? Hello? I swear if it's the... I can't be the cat. I really hope it's the cat. You felt it too, huh? Is that the same cat? That one was a black cat, right? What happened here? Angry spirit? Oh, wow. And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. The controller is high and crazy. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Marianne, are you... Are you crying, my child? Oh, my God. I... Jack. Now, now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, I know, Jack. I, I can't just... It's not important. You... you are crying. What's wrong, dear? Oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> where is that shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Hmm? It's time to get some rest. Oh, there he is. Yeah? No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? <laughs> yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, I, I promised myself once. I, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh, <laughs> no risky stuff, then. Huh? Right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I, I need no. Yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always.
most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. She called him Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. At Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nevo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. <sighs> okay, it's the intro. Um... I think we're going to end up here, guys. There was so much in that scene. It was so powerful in terms of emotions, and I got I got a little bit teared up, I have to say. Also, two things I noticed. Did you notice her pendant? It was like half of a butterfly, it was butterfly wing. And also Jack, he had that, obviously that mask to, because potentially he's dead, so he has a mask. It's also part of a big symbolic, um, use right the mask that uh, we put on uh, on dead people in, in several uh, cultures and also did you see that he had a hole in his head potentially where the tumor was right because he was supposed to see a neurologist so does this mean that we are going to see the way people died and the split like the split between the screen was gorgeous um, I really like the tones that and orange. That was really nice. I can't wait. I can't wait to play the rest. Okay, I'm going to leave this one run and uh, I will see you next time.